It started off like any other trip. We knew where we was meeting up, which was Snowdonia in North Wales. We drove around for a couple of hours the next day, and then we decided to stock up at the local Audi, as you do. One of the few destinations we had picked out was the place where Top Gear made a programme. It was a beach location. I'd seen it a few times on YouTube and always wanted to go there. So that's where we're headed. It was a beautiful drive down there, the roads was clear, nobody was on them, and it was all cross country. And when we got there, we wasn't disappointed. Park just on the beach. The wind is well and truly blowing. Mark's gonna get wet. You're gonna get wet, Mark! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right coming, I thought. Is he looking? <laughs> so through hunting around today we found this little gem of a place this is a nice little park up just in the Snowdon Snowdon here National Park. We're talking about heading to the forest tomorrow because um, the, uh, I think the weather's going to get really bad over the next couple of days. It's been forecast to get really bad, so I think we will head to shelter and probably get killed by a falling tree. It would be a couple of days before the storm would kick in properly. The weather forecast were reporting winds up to 100 mile an hour in some parts of Wales. So we decided to take a drive and start to head slowly inland. We would look for a forest or somewhere we could keep well out the way, preferably in a valley. We didn't want to get in the middle of that. Unfortunately, that's exactly where we ended up. Right in the middle of it. And that there is um, that's where the bands are parked, just through there if you can see it. Just jumped on that little lay by there, it seems a really nice place. What do you reckon, Mark? Nice place? I'll go for a swim in it tomorrow. Eh? I'll go for a swim tomorrow. You're going for a swim? Yeah. Oh, I'll film that. Have a look at that. Remember you've said that on film, so. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mark never got his swim. One of the locals told us of a place just round the corner, an old railway station that was doing up. And as it was out of season, nobody would be there to bother us. It had running water, so we decided to go there. just down there. Some nice walks around here, but um, 
I don't think we'll be doing them because we're going to uh, move on. So until we get to the next place, I'll leave it here. The storm was due to hit us at midnight. The rain had already started. So we'd picked out a location in the middle of a valley, surrounded by trees, where we thought we'd be safe and keep out the worst of it. We knew by the time morning came, we'd have seen the worst of it gone. The storm would have passed over us and we'd just have to drive out of this little valley we was in. It couldn't be any easier. We've collected some firewood, look. Plenty of firewood for us. That should last us a night. And there we are, hidden away near. So we're gonna pack up here for the night and uh, that's it really. Only staying here tonight to keep out the wind. So I'll turn it off for now and I'll catch up with you later. The next morning we packed up and we got on with our journey. You still where we're going, that's right? Yeah, I've just been through that um, lake. Which way did you go? Being in our little hideaway, we'd missed most of the storm. It was only when we drove out we realised it had been a bad one. What we didn't know is how bad. Everything was going quite well until we came across this. I'm just going to get my coat on, I'll be wee Mark. There was just too much tree to move with the little axes that we had with us. So we decided to take our chances and look for another way out. Oh, that's bad. 
show me up, why don't you? Some of the locals had told us that if this carries on, the road would become impassable in certain parts. We had to find another way out, and quick. <coughs> Did you see? I don't know which way you've gone. There's a car park to your left, just pull in there. With no way of getting out that way, and another fallen tree blocking our route, we decided to turn around and go back to the car park, leave two vans there, and then we'd go back to the first tree, and hopefully manage to act through it. It looked like that would be our only way out, we had to move the tree. We made our way back to the first fallen tree and with the help of some of the locals we managed to move it.
It was the end for us of storms, floods and fallen trees, but we were wrong. But for that, you'll have to wait till next week. Take care, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.